um, yep. Okay, so let's see who's ready for today's uh, meeting. Um, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, so who's ready for today's meeting? Um, yeah, so let's just start. Okay, so um, today I am going to be working on a church social media at work, and um, I'm going to be using the design I received from one of the group members during our last um, design uh, weekly review. So um, I'm going to show you guys the design and... I know I did a video, I did a, a video about the design on my channel, all right, uh, where I critiqued the design, but I did not do the redesign version of this. So uh, for those of you who are finding it difficult to understand my point on achieving um, good design with the information from these projects, I'm going to be showing you, showing you guys how to um, do that. I mean, how to achieve something better than what we have here. And I'm going to be sharing my tips on how I achieve successful designs with you. Because like what I always say to you guys, that um, there's a purpose why uh, we have designs project to work on. And that purpose is what should shape the look of the project suspense is what draws people's attention to uh, um, every design project but when there's no suspense the goal of that project is not going to be achieved so i'm going to stop here on this and i'll go straight to um how i'm going to achieve this project so first i'm going to close this and i need you guys to get understand everything i'm going to share with you today so when you're asked to work on design project, the first question you need to ask yourself is what is the message? What is the goal of the project? And the other second thing you need to do is do you need to know is who are the target audience? So but because I don't know the target audience of um, this project, I'm going to just work with something that go with both um, uh, both the young and the old here. All right. So um, the title of the project is the church that Jesus died for. I mean, the church Jesus died for. And what I'm going to be put, putting together to achieve this project, I got it after I got it after you know understanding the title of the project. So what I did was I went to Google and search for. Um, uh, five, um, I think I have it here. Five, where is it? All right, see, this is here. So I, I, I typed the benefits of Christ's death in the life, uh, in the life and ministry of the Christian because, um, the Christians are the people, all right, and also the people are also the church because I know some designers don't understand when they hear the word church. The church are the people. The church are the people that visit the church. All right. So it's rather than using the word people, most churches prefer to use the church. And that's the reason why I decided to use that to get the, um, you know, the, the, the concept I'm going to use to achieve this project. Now, here I have just five benefits. And listen, guys, before working on any design project, please, you need to um, understand the purpose of what, you know, I mentioned that before, you need to understand the purpose why you're asked to work on the project. And then the title of the project is what you are not going to, what you are now going to use to create the illustration that you are um, going to use on the project. Now, there are times where the information on the project won't really show what the title is talking about now do you, you do this only 
when or after you've gotten the brief from the client and then you've understood the background of the project but in a case where i don't have the background of the project here i'm going to use the title to create the illustration here i'm going to use the title to get the right illustration here and i'll show you how i was able to get the right illustration for this project so here we have five benefits of um christ debts in the life and ministry of the christian so the first one is, is the death of christ gives us free access to the most holy place all right and here you know um yeah so with this um uh, this here if i'm going to break it down this show more like um um if i'm going to use any illustration here i can use something i mean if i want to use this to create the illustration i'm going to use to achieve this project i can get a picture of a key all right because the fact that i have this access here all right um i can use a picture of a key all right to depict the, you know, what the artwork is talking about okay um so i'm still going to go to the next one here because you know one of the things i always try as much as possible to do most time is i try to see how i can create something that people don't expect i try to see how i can create something surprising so i'm going to go straight to the next one here that said the death of christ the death of christ gives us victory so um here i like the fact that we have victory here and um if i'm going to use any illustration here i'd rather use a medal or a trophy so now you see that i'm getting the right illustration here with the five points i have here so i'm going to use victory i'm going to use a trophy here so the next one is the death of christ brings us healing all right and i'm still going to attach this to this because um it takes a victorious person to be healed all right so i'm going to you know merge this with the um, point number two so the next one is the death of christ frees us from all condemnation okay um so this also still go with the victory all right still, i'm still going to group this with the victory and then last one says the death of christ entitles us to an abundant life still under the victory so here i think the victory is um what is uh, more striking here what carry more weight among the five points so if i'm going to use any image here now i'm going to use something that shows a trophy all right and before you know i get to you know the the um you know the working on the project i need every one of you to catch this now i'm not a pastor all right but um it's good if i you know teach you guys how i achieve my design project and also tell you the truth on how you know we human supposed to live our life you know part of the things that have really helped me in this business is in the design business is having this feeling like um because i carry the the grace that jesus christ has you know given to us i shouldn't be having any problem doing anything for people all right and it's similar to what the information on this you know um project is talking about when i wanted to work on this project i looked at how you know i what i'm going through how i'm living my life and i realized that it's similar to what this project is um, talking about and i believe since it's working for me i believe it can work for every one of you but what you just need to do is focus on your maker make your maker your source if you are asked to work on any design project don't have this don't be saying something negative don't be saying um how am i going to achieve this don't be saying ah, i can't achieve this i'm not doing well here always say to yourself that you're going to do something good and the more you say it the more you see yourself doing something good all right so let's go straight to uh, the project so i'm going to launch my photoshop application here now and i'm going to create a new document and um i'm going to make the width of the project 720 height is going to be 720 and i'm going to call this um let's just call this church poster all right okay so then my resolution is going to be 72 color mode is going to be rgb all right then um yeah <laughs> okay all right um so let's um continue okay so i'm going to um hit the create button and i'm going to drag the image from the exercise file here 
So I create, I got this image. This is not, this is not, this is not how the um, exact image doesn't know what it looks like. But uh, because of time, I decided to just quickly do some little touch on it to just you know make it look like what I believe will help the project. So remember, I told you guys that what I'm going to be doing today is going to be on. It's going to fall on the two sides here. So because I don't want to bore my concept, I don't want to. I don't want my concept to look too boring. All right, and I don't want it to look too playful. So what I did, what I'm going to be doing here is to use my image here to create my layout. So I'm going to copy the title now. And whenever you're working on design projects, guys, please, please, and um, please, um, your title should be abstract. All right, that's part of the ways we, you know, make our project look interesting. So try as much as possible to make your title abstract. All right and i'm going to be using okay so this is the font i'm going to be using today so i'll use the bold version of it it's called clear clear random all right and i'm going to close the tracking because i'm going to be making this big so it's better i don't allow too much space between the letters so i'm going to activate free transform now on this um let's see i'll make this bigger all right and i'm gonna hit the enter key then i'm gonna make a copy of this and this should be here all right so like i said always make sure you make your title abstract if you have questions for me guys please drop it in the um, top chat box i'll read them out and i am going to answer them all right so i'm gonna make this smaller okay so because i'm making this small I'm not going to use a bold. I'm not going to use the bold version. All right. I'm going to use Roman and I'm going to add space between the letters. All right. So I'm going to make a copy again and um, yeah, make a copy. Make a copy, bro. Okay. And this should be here. And I'm going to activate the free transform. All right. And hit the enter key again. And this is going to be B. Okay. And this is going to be here. And this is going to be here. Okay. Yeah. So then what else do we have there? So we have the die for text. So I'm going to um, make a copy of the Jesus text. And this is going to be here. And I'm going to paste this here. Okay so this should not be too bold all right so now one of the reason why this is um successful and i want to do why this is successful is because you know um you know like what what i always say to you guys that suspense is part of what you should if a suspense is what draws people's attention to your project now we have the title here saying the church jesus jesus died for and they will not have a trophy now when uh unbelievers see this it will draw their attention to the project like okay so i know jesus is supposed to be the savior and now you guys are having a trophy to show that um he's dead is it that you guys are happy that he's dead or what and if you can do this on your project correctly if you can do this well on your project that project is successful all right so and that's the reason why i like the fact that you know the title is different from the illustration we are using on the project so i'm going to just make this um i'm going to add space between this and this is going to be here like so yes this is good all right then we need to make this bigger all right okay so yeah this is good all right now um we need to now make this um, more, you know, fun. You know, I told you I'm going to be doing this on both sides. All right. So we have achieved the old people's um, um, version of the project, which is ma the making of the title bold. Now, for the young people's side, I need to make this more fun. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use the lasso tool here to just, you know, crop this out like so and i'm gonna hit ctrl j on my keyboard to cut that out so we have this all right then this should be above this all right like that 
Okay, so I'm going to activate free transform on this. I make this bigger and hit the enter key. And I'll go to filter blur and say, and select Gaussian blur here. And this should be this type of bold. Yes. So I'm going to activate the free transform again and make this bigger. Okay. Now, the reason why, because I know some of you may be looking at, looking at me like, how does this guy think? Like, how did he know that this is the right layout for the project? Now, I'm not the type of designer who is fast to jump to my PC whenever I receive design brief. No. What I do most of the time is I sit down, draw out my layout, see what I think is best for the project before I get to my PC. Now, I'm going to move this above the Jesus text, and I'm going to hold on Alt and clip this inside the title, like so. So now you see that we're beginning to make our title more interesting and I'm going to make a copy of this and this should go inside the default text like so. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm going to move this here. If I let's just make this bigger. Okay. Because, you know, making it have different variation is another way, you know, you make the project um, interesting. Now this is good. So then, um, yeah. So I'm going to move this up a bit you know i'm thinking of still making this a bit smaller all right yeah this is good yeah this is okay then um for the dates i'm gonna make a copy of the d text here and now make sure your information here are well aligned all right alignment is part of what gives your design that's mature and professional look so this should move close to this and um for the dates i'm just going to copy the dates now and i'll paste this here all right and i'll make this smaller okay so then i'm going to pick a color from here all right because you know like what i will say to you guys unity is very important when working on design projects okay so i'm going to move this down all right and i'm going to put the time all right i'll put the time so i paste that here okay okay so all right now um so like the reason why i'm making the time this bold is because you know um there's the part of you controlling the eye movement of your readers all right and you know that's another way you help your projects look successful you know making your elements share different sizes is another way you make your project successful so but in this case here my text here is too bold all right because too much of everything in design in graphic design is not always good so what i'm going to do now is to look for a small a, a slim text you know that work together with this type of um slab um serif um frontier so i'm going to use um let's use hoofler all right, because I like combining those two texts. All right, and um, let's use, um, let's see the, the style I'm going to be using here. I'm going to use, um, let's see, let me use this. No. So I'm trying to see because my five here is not, the size of my five here is not okay. So I actually want everything to share the same size nope nope um let's see okay so what i'm gonna do is i think i can okay you know what turn this off okay so this needs to go off yeah that's where the problem is coming from so i'm gonna close the space between the letters or the space between the figures and make this a bit bigger like so and this should be here like that then i'm gonna make um a copy of this again and um, let's see what i'm gonna do now is to copy the venue all right 
and um, I'm gonna drag this here, drag this here, and yeah. So now this type of font here is not good for body text. So I'm not gonna use this type of font. All right, I'm gonna change the character to the hopefully text again. And this time I'm gonna use the same color with this because I'm gonna make the venue small. So using that color may not make it visible. So I'm gonna activate free transform now, make this smaller. And um, I, I can't see the figure two here. So I'll use, I'll just select the two and change this to, yeah, this. Okay, beautiful. Then, um, so I'm gonna be breaking the text now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it here. All right, and I'm gonna break the street from here. Yes, so this should be here, like so, all right? So I'm going to move everything here up a bit, okay? So if I position this here, it's not bad. Um, you know what? Let's make our layer panel knit. So I'm going to put the title in a group. So I'll call this the title, okay? um okay so one other thing i think we can do here to help the project is you know i told you guys that or my, most of you might um, may not have heard me say this your background is what shaped the layout of your project so i'm going to be using that to create the layout of this project here and i believe it's going to make this project look successful so i'm going to move this here all right and activate the free transform Okay, sorry. Maybe we should just make a copy of this and hide this. And I'm going to convert this to a smart object. So this is going to serve as our backup just in case I'm not really satisfied with the look of what I'm doing. So I'm going to zoom out and right click and say skew here and move this up here. All right. So I'm going to move this till it rests on this. So, all right. So, um, this is going to move up here a bit. Okay, so this is good. So I'll hit the enter key and this should be here. All right, so the idea here is to make it look like the text is printed on a paper that is pasted on a wall. And that's the reason why I decided to do this. So I'm going to do the same thing to the venue, the time and date here. So I'm going to move this here and activate the free transform right click and select skew and move this up but make sure you use this line here to achieve the skew all right so i'm gonna move this here all right okay this is good so that if i zoom out now this is what we have and this should be here i'm going to move this up a bit you know what let's just make this a bit smaller so I'll reduce the size a bit and this should be here. So I'll drag this out and make sure that my stuff here, my elements here are well aligned, All right? So this should move closer to this. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna just select the two um, layers now, and this should be somewhere here, All right? Yeah, I think it's okay this way, all right? I like it this way. Uh, what do you guys think so i'll position it here all right so i'm going to hide my guide here by hitting ctrl h all right and um so let's put let's put the picture of the speaker so but first i need to create the frame of the speaker so i'm going to click select a color from here and take away the stroke and i'm going to draw a shape okay so I'm going to draw a shape here. Move it on shift now. All right. Yep. So this is going to be somewhere here. I'm going to drag this out here. So again, because there's something I want to do here. Okay. So I'm going to copy the name of the minister, which is this. All right. And Paste it here. Um, sorry, there's a mistake on the name. It should be Adebayo. Adebayo. All right, so this should be here. 
out of it. I'm going to select the text and change this to black because I'm placing this on a yellow background. So I need to make it visible. So this is going to be here. All right. Um, you know what? Let's just move this out here a bit. Okay. I'm going to select the enter key. Okay. And move this up a bit. Yeah, like that. All right. Then um, for the ministering text, I'll copy that and I'll paste that here. And I'm going to use this to get the feature. So I'm going to make this smaller. Okay, so this needs to be here. Make it a bit similar again. Yep. And I'm going to pick a color from here. Make it okay. And I'm going to add space between the letters so it can be visible. All right. Then I'm going to move this to this side because I really want this to align to this. So this is going to be here. And I'm going to put this also to this side. Like so, all right. So for the picture of the minister, so I'm going to drag that and drop here. And that should go inside the shape here. So I'm going to hold on Alt and clip this inside the shape of, inside the shape I just drew, which is the ellipse shape. And I'm going to make that smaller. Now, the reason why I'm making the picture of the minister smaller is because it's not always good to make, you know, two images have a um, bold uh, look on your projects. It's not always good, good to bold two um, illustration or two images on your project. All right. And that's the reason why I decided to make the picture of the minister more smaller because the illustration is the illustration is what draws people's attention to the project and not the minister all right so i'm going to add space between the rows now and for the logo i'm going to drag that and drop here all right i'm going to make that smaller and that should be here so we need to take out the white field i'm going to change this to multiply and that should this should be here now one last thing i need to do here is because you know like i said the idea is to make it look like the title is printed on a paper all right so we need to create that you know connection which is still the unity part i always say to you guys so i'm going to use blend if to achieve this but before i do that i'm going to hit ctrl h on my keyboard to, to hide the guide and then i'm going to double click on the layer to activate the layer style and let's move this to the side no let's just do this all right, I'm going to move this to the side. All right, and I'm going to hold on Alt and separate the slider and this should be here and this should be said. Now look at this. Now this details here is uh, what I'm looking for. All right, so I'm going to select the OK button. And one last thing I need to do is to add noise because we have a paper, you know, effect here. So I'm going to add noise to create that, you know, fun look on the project. Um. So, okay, so I'm going to call this noise, all right, so I'm going to call this noise, okay, then I'll change the mode here to soft lights and check the fill with soft light to track all of 50% gray option here and select the OK button, then I'll go to the filter here and select noise and select add noise okay so guys if you have questions for me please drop it and i'm going to read them out okay so now this is um yeah so this is the final project all right and this is where i'm going to stop and i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, meeting but before you know i say bye bye to today's um live uh, meeting um i need to read your messages all right so i can see um gabriel Oba Teru saying, please, uh, how do you know the right font to use for the project? So what I do is, um, 
you know, like I said, it's at the beginning of this um, video that the goal here is to create a project that is not on one side, which is a project that is not for some certain type of people. The target here is to create a project for both the young and the old. And I know old people always prefer seeing the title bold and big because most of them use its glasses so i know the best font to use for this project is something this bold so as to help them see the information easily all right so um then the next person is marvelous flea fee for the saying what about a situation where the minister wants their image bigger like like uh, the star of the church well if the clients want their pictures bolder please do it for them but don't add that design to your portfolio all right they are the one paying you for the job if they want you to make their picture bolder please do it for them but for me what i do most time is when i'm done with the artwork i do what i believe will be okay for the project so i can add this to my portfolio but the one from the client where the client is saying i want the picture to be bolder I'm not going to add that to my um, project. Although most time I always educate them. I tell them, see, people don't want to see your your picture. Your look is not going to draw people's attention to the project. The um, goal is to create something that will draw people's attention to come from the meeting. And part of how we do that correctly as designers is using the right, the right illustration. And that's the reason why we have this picture of this trophy. So I tell them, if you don't want the picture of the trophy and want your picture bolder, Fine, I can do that for you. But put, making your picture and the picture of the trophy bold on the project is not going to help the project. It's going to make it look busy. So if they insist that, no, I want to have my picture and the picture of the, of the pro trophy on the project, why not do it for them? All right. But make sure you don't add that to your, you don't add it to your portfolio. Okay. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's um, Watch Me Design live series. And um, I'm going to be doing this every Thursday with you guys. And if you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and also help your designer, other designers. All right. Also help other designers. Share this video with them. Let them also learn from um, what I just um, dish out for you guys here today. All right. So thank you again, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.